Hi everybody, this is Christina, the Amputee OT. In this video, I am going to show you how this system on cue works. I've got catheter attached there and then let's see if you can see this. Yeah, there is where the catheter goes in and it goes into my nerve that runs up here. I think it's a saphenous nerve. So what will happen with this system is that it will slowly drain out into my leg. You can see more. This one is still pretty full. But if you look at this one, you see it's kind of getting wrinkly and that's because the pupivacaine, the anesthetic is draining out in there. So the anesthetic lasts like three days. So this will just get smaller and smaller and more wrinkly until it's all empty. So what this system does, and this one, is that you can see there's a little thing here to adjust how much goes into me. And then there's a catheter here and it goes down. You can't really see it, but it <coughs> it's inserted into my residual limb. What this does is it pumps pupivacaine into my residual limb next to the nerves constantly for pain relief. And then I will remove it from me. And let me tell you about this thing. <clears throat> the first time when I got my residual limb amputated above the knee, it was the worst pain I had ever been in my entire life. It was awful. This time it's barely anything. So I am absolutely in love with this. I mean, there's some pain, like when I move my residual limb, it's painful, but it's nothing like I experienced before. If I'm just sitting here, I'm in no pain. It's only when I move around. When I move around, the pain is, it's uncomfortable, but it's pretty tolerable. And so that's because I've got this. I love it. It is amazing. I love it so much. I'm not taking any narcotics. Um, they've given me some ibuprofen, no narcotics, and I have barely passed the 24 hour mark of when my re revision occurred. I had a TMR and which is targeted muscle reinnervation, and I had a myo no. Yeah. So I had a TMR, which is targeted muscle reinnervation, and a myodesis where they anchor the muscles to the bone. And they also cut a little bit of bone off. So this is awesome. I love this. I am going to sing the praises of the on cue for like the rest of my life. It's it's great. It's amazing. Well, it's kind of an issue because you have to carry it around with you and it dangles. But I've got a little bag. It's, it's in this little cute bag. And when I go anywhere, I just put it around my neck. So yeah, I love it. Hey guys, it's Christina. So you can see from my environment now, I am home. I got discharged from the hospital. Uh, went home on three o'clock, maybe got home at four o'clock or something like that. And since then, my pain has been increasing in my residual limb, and I think I know why. So I got two of these. This is the bigger one, and this is the smaller one. You can see this one is emptying out, but this one honestly looks about the same as when I got it. So it seems like it's not draining uh, the lidocaine into my residual limb. And I looked in the cord. The catheter is there. And there's a bunch of fluid in underneath the tegaderm quite a lot, sort of. So I think it's not going into my body for some reason. And uh, the internet says that, the, the OnQ website, the OnQ website says that I should call them. Uh, they have a 24 hour line, but I don't know what they're going to be able to do about my catheter not working 
in the middle of the night at 2 a.m. So I'm just gonna have to suffer through the pain until the morning. Although it's not horrifying, it's just sort of mild, I would say mildly distressing, maybe like a five or a six or something. Um, but obviously something's going on there where the, the liquid is not going into my body. It's just kind of, I don't know, maybe, I'm sure there's like a pressure limitation on these things or something uh, to prevent them from blowing a bunch of lidocaine into your body and blowing out, I don't know, even a little bit wet here. And I, and I think that's because I tried to turn it up. There's a knob on here. I turned it up to 14. I think turning it up to 14 is what caused it to leak into here. So that sucks. All right, so it's been a couple of days and one of my on cues is totally empty. So I'm gonna go ahead and take both of them out. I've been carrying them around in that little bag there. As you can see, the catheter is sort of coiled around and then taped under some tegaderm. That's so that if you pull on it a little bit accidentally, it doesn't pull it out of you. And here is the catheter that I pulled out of my leg. By the way, with my doctor's permission, they gave me instructions on how to remove this catheter myself. Doing this doesn't hurt at all, but I'm pulling it out really slowly because I guess I'm afraid that it might hurt. And here I am pulling out the other catheter, which interestingly was only in a couple of inches compared to like a foot for the other one. All right, that's all for now. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for following my journey and see you later. Bye.